The college football world is mourning the loss of one of their own, as Washington State quarterback Tyler Holinsky was found dead in his apartment Tuesday morning of an apparent suicide. Holinsky, a redshirt sophomore, played in 11 games in his two years with the Cougars, throwing the ball for 1,421 yards and nine touchdowns while also running for two scores and leading the Cougars to the 2017 Holiday Bowl. Washington State head coach Mike Leach said in an official statement, We are deeply saddened to hear of the news of Tyler's passing. He was an incredible young man, and everyone who had the privilege of knowing him was better for it. The entire WSU community mourns as thoughts and prayers go out to his family. Washington State University Interim Athletic Director John Johnson added the following. The tragic news today surrounding Tyler Holinsky is devastating to all. Tyler was a tremendous individual, great friend and teammate, and he will be deeply missed. Our hearts go out to his family and friends. Earlier tonight, the football team was brought together and informed of the tragedy. There they were met by campus and department counseling and psychological services, including athletics on staff, clinical psychologist, and a licensed mental health counselor, along with Washington State University Athletics medical team. The university will continue to coordinate and provide ongoing counseling care for all student athletes as long as needed. We here with the Leather Helmet Mafia send our deepest condolences to the family, friends, and teammates of Tyler and to the entire Washington State University community. We as fans of athletics only get to see a small sample of what he had to offer. We never got to know this very special young man. Suicide is a very real issue in the world today, and it is one with far more victims than just the ones who commit the act. The friends and family are left to wonder and ask the question, was there anything more I could have done? And the sad truth is, there's not. The best thing we can do is embrace the memories and moments that were left behind and let them be their legacy. If you have a story about Tyler, if you knew him, or if you were just a fan, I encourage you to share it. If not here, then somewhere else. Our stories are not told by us, but by those whose lives we affected. Tyler will live forever so long as we keep his memory alive. I also want to share the contact information for the National Suicide Prevention Center, which will also be in the video details. If you are or know of someone who may be at risk of taking their own life, I urge you to contact them. Thank you for the view, and God bless.